Well, I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. My dad asked me if I would shorten some slacks, some pants of his, because when you're 90 years old, you start to shrink. It's just one of those things that happens. And he might have got them, bought them too long anyway. So I do what they call a blind stitch, um, a hidden stitch. And so I just thought I'd show you, I do a short video on how you do it. It's really pretty simple as long as you have that um, ability on your sewing machine to do that stitch. And it just does three stitches, then it sends it over to the side like a zigzag and comes back with just that one stitch. And then it does three regular stitches, then it goes back. And on my machine, I can do it to the left or to the right. Well, when I'm doing pants, I always do it to the left. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, a pair of tan pants and a pair of gray pants. And it's a great way to hem pants, shorts, skirts, and you don't really see hardly any markings on the front side. So here's for my dad. So here's a pair of tan pants. And so I'm just marking it where I'm going to actually cut it. And I've evened out both of the legs so they're exactly the same. And so I can um, mark this cut it and then be able to mark the other one without moving the pants at all. Make sure you use some sharp, good um, scissors that are made for material. Now there's there are scissors that are made for paper and there are scissors that are made for material and you want to make sure you're using the correct one. And then I'm just going to mark that second leg. But see, because I had lined them all up before, I don't have to move it before I go to mark it and it's exactly where it's supposed to be. And I'm doing a pair of tan pants and then a pair of gray slacks. So this is the tan khaki ones and then we're gonna go to the gray ones. Now the first thing I did, I put them inside out and I turned it over a little over a quarter of an inch and I pinned it down and I'm just ironing that so that it gives me an edge. Now this is only the first turn of it and then I will have to turn it one more time when I actually do the right length of the pants. But this is really important for when you do that um, blind stitch. So here I turned it over and I'm hemming it an inch wide. And so I'm going to put a lot of pins in there because when you go to stitch, it's much better to have a lot. See where you can see where I made that crease line. So it makes it really easy for me to find out where my inch mark is and then go to the um, over and do another pin. And I'll do one in the center. And I'm just gonna go around the whole leg and just pin it all the way up. I'm gonna iron it again because I want sharp, solid lines. It will, it will just help you in the long run. Now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna bend that back and see where there's, oh, it's about an eighth of an inch. And that's actually where my stitching is gonna go. And so I'm just, holding it tight, using a lot of pins, and I'm gonna go all the way around the pant leg. And I want it to stay at that eighth of an inch. And that gives me plenty of room to do that stitch. I do do it slowly. It, it will just hide everything. It'll just be perfect, really. If you just take that time at the beginning. Now, I always like to take some scrap material and I have folded it just like those pant legs. So it's got the, all the seams, all the folds that it does. The reason why I do that is because I'm gonna set it on my number four. It goes three stitches, then it does that short little zigzag, three stitches, and then, and it's going over to the left because that works really well when I'm doing my stitching. And see right along there? Now it looks wide because it's so blown up, but it's only an eighth of an inch. And so it does the stitches, and then it goes over to the side. Stitches over to the side. And just take your time and go all the way around. And then when I'm done, I just kind of tease the material. I pull it around a little bit so that it just um, loosens it up a little bit and it lays flat. But you can see that design on the back there. And I'm gonna flip the pants so the right side out again. And see how you barely see the hem. And that's what I want. It's a quick, easy way to hem. 
Well, they worked out perfect for my dad and just the right length. He tried them on for me and you know, that's what daughters do for their dads. I will see you next time.